Well hello again everyone and welcome to another channel update for the month of March 2022. Well the main focus of course this month has been carrying on and trying to get that diesel heater fitted, ready and working, ready for our trip to Scotland later on in the month. And uh, yeah, that is more or less done now. We also had that little repair to do on the Mutt Mastiff brake light switch and uh, you may have seen the, the little video we did on that. Weather's been uh, reasonably nice uh, for a good part of the month and I've been using the little Mutt Mastiff a lot more to head to and from work on. There's been uh, no airbrushing at all this month unfortunately, it's just been so busy with work and this diesel heater and all sorts of other little bits and pieces that have been going on but uh, I am still hoping to get back onto that soon. I've still got the helmet to do for Chaz and the weather is picking up a little bit now so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get that done soon. Got that petrol tank to do still for the mutt and uh, very much looking forward to cracking on with that but uh, yeah it's just been so difficult trying to fit any of that in especially with with the new job. Uh, well been there uh, nearly four or five months now but uh, yeah still uh, plenty to do there They're keeping me uh, very busy. I've also still not managed to uh, have any underground trips, although uh, earlier on in the month I did head up to the Magpie Mine in Derbyshire. Uh, there was no filming done that day, but we were uh, dragging out the uh, the winch from one of the sheds to uh, have a look, get it going, and hopefully we'll have some winch trips down shafts. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to film them, but... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, having a ride on the winch for sure. Earlier in the month, also had uh, a delivery from our friends at Plus Gas, and they've sent us uh, some supplies to keep us going. We do get through an awful lot of this stuff, and uh, it's great for undoing all the rusty nuts and bolts and things that you find on these older vehicles. Uh, you may have seen us use it quite a lot during the recent uh, brake project, so. That's very welcome. Uh, thank you to the good folks at Plus Gas for sending that through to us. We've also got a new sticker for the back of the van and this is Rick uh, from the Pearl the CV20 channel. This is his other channel which features his old Austin Allegro Agatha. Uh, so yeah definitely check that channel out for Austin Allegro action. Now on the subject of stickers I still have plenty of our channel stickers to give away should you wish to have one. Uh, if you would like one then just send me an email with sticker or something in the subject line to the email address that's in the, the description of all my videos and uh, I'll send you one if you if you send me your address obviously in that email. I can't send you one if you don't have your address unfortunately because uh, I won't know where to send it will I? Um, so yeah if you fancy a sticker, drop me an email with your mailing address. And don't forget, if you receive your sticker and you'd like to uh, send us a photo of where you've stuck it or any other interesting stuff, old vehicles, project vehicles that you have, then yeah, send those in as well and we'll put it in a future monthly update video. Uh, these are the photos that people have sent me this month. Well, here's Chris's van. Chris has got the rear habitation door there on his van, the same as ours. Don't tend to see so many like that these days, apart from, I guess, the little small Citroen Roma homes. Here's a cracking looking van from Darren. Now, Darren has an up and coming YouTube channel, DK Goes Wild. So, uh, yeah, check him out as well. Heath has sent these photos of his Rover 620 and that looks absolutely mint, doesn't it? Lovely, fantastic uh, looking car. And there's one of our stickers look in the back window of Janice's VW camper. Tom sent us these fantastic pictures of his auto sleeper. A bit of a project vehicle this. He's annotated the pictures so you can see what's going on in each one.
Now take a look at Tom's picture here and uh, can you see why it was so noisy on the 400 mile drive home? Can you spot the mistake the previous owner had made with this brake setup? Uh, drop a comment below when you see the problem. Well, sadly, uh, Tom's not been well, so I've had to pause work on this project. So uh, we hope you feel better soon, Tom, and are able to get back to it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to update us when you do. So uh, all, all the best from us here at the channel. What of the fitness and the walk a thousand kilometers challenge? Uh, well, <laughs> the, the fitness and weight loss stuff not going fantastically well. We're still sort of holding ground. Uh, just been so busy, been eating junk at work and stuff just because uh, we're in a mad rush all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, struggling to get out on as many walks as I'd like as well. <sighs> Same old story, really. But yeah, we, we'll press on trying to achieve. Uh, something a little bit better each month. So yeah, here are the charts. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Give the like button a press. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more. Yeah.